Welcome back to At Your Leisure, I'm Scott the Huntsman, the product review guy with the Jeeps. Now today, we've got the At Your Leisure Jeep here, and I am not gonna let these guys take this back on the trail until we take care of the obvious problem. Can you see it? Going downhill, sagging the leaf spring on the driver's rear. I have a fix for that. We're gonna be pulling the springs off of both sides. We're gonna run up to AAA spring. They're gonna fix us up with some new springs, arc them correctly for the lift, give us all the hardware as well. All right, we're here at AAA spring in Salt Lake City. These guys have the springs for our Jeep project and all the hardware to go with it. Let's go on inside and go talk to them. Let's see what they got. We're AAA spring specialists. We specialize in suspension parts for everything from pickups to class six, seven, and eight vehicles, semi-trucks, dump trucks. Uh, we can get springs for Mustangs, old Camaros, anything that's had a leaf spring on it, we can get. Um, we cover all of the parts from the springs to the bolts, the shocks, U-bolts, uh, we custom make U-bolts for any particular size that you need. Uh, everything's automotive grade. Let's pull this inside, and I'm gonna show you what it takes to pull the leaf springs off of this Jeep. So step number one, let's get the wheels off. Then we can loosen all of the U-bolts and the shackle mounting bolts. This is a pinion angle shim. It sits in the axle with the big end at the back to put the pinion up to correct the angle while this has a bit of a lift kit to it must go back to keep that pinion angle. Okay, with the help of an assistant, I will remove the leaf spring from the vehicle. With the helper, I will lift the spring back into place and start the bolts. Once the spring is in place and the bolts have been started into the shackles, we'll then start the U-bolts and their nuts with the top plate. Once the bolts are started, we will then torque all the nuts and bolts and the shackles to specs. Once the assembly is final torqued, then it's time to reinstall the wheel with some anti-seize on the lug studs, and then we will torque the lug nuts. All right, final product, we're all done. It turned out nice. Right side to left side are dead on, nice and level. We have good brand new springs and hardware. Everything turned out good. In fact, it brought the back of this Jeep up about a half an inch overall, and I'm very happy with that. I'm willing to let it go back on the trail. Now, a couple of hours time, two to three hours, with some good tools and know-how, and you're all set. But if this job's a little too much for you, just come and see us, 2NEX South Jordan, 2NEX West Valley City. We can get you all set taken care of. I'm Scott Huntsman. At your leisure, we'll be back in just a moment.